I am in a much lower dis uh, of a much lower disposition than it was the last time I was recording this because I just got back from work. And work sucks, and I don't know if me playing this now is better or worse than me being at work. Because I've probably mentioned in the past that Dark Souls 2 is my least favorite Souls game. Not bad, just my least favorite. So take that as you will. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about that. I don't think I ever got that helmet. Because you have to do the... Uh, is it the fucking... Arena matches? I don't remember. There's a specific... Because you get items in this game based on character quest lines. And some of them are kind of obtuse. Some of, like, like Targray's stuff sucks, because it's about co-op, but it's specifically, it's like a shittier version of the blue, of the Dark Moon Covenant from Dark Souls 1. I think that Covenant probably functions the best in Dark Souls 3. Like, there's less variety in Dark Souls 3, because you only ever get summoned to one area, pretty much. And it's that uh, big old fight club zone. Wait. From uh, Dark Soul, or from Anne Orlando. Like, just outside Pontiff Sullivan's area. Like, in Dark Souls 1, I got invaded by a Dark Moon Blade, because I got some sin because I broke my vow with the uh, Forest Hunter Covenant. By killing that guy, or the ninja who has that um, ring. I broke my vow with the Forest Hunter. So I had some sin, and you get sin just from talking to Alvina, so it's like, fuck it anyway. But I got invaded by someone on that bridge, that like that bridge in the Chasm of the Abyss Arena. So I was like at the bottom of it, heading to the area where the other, fa um, the uh, other, what's it called, uh, humanity sprites are, just before the boss fog. And behind me, I hear someone zone in. They're at the top of it, and the first thing they do is cast a uh, crystal, like, um, homing soul mass. I almost threw myself off the cliff just to spite them. Because holy shit, is homing crystal soul mass a broken spell. It's really good. Yeah, that's the way forward. I don't want to go that way yet. Because there's a sublime bone dust in the chest behind this guy. Because this is a Saiyan Knight, or Cyan Knight, however you want to say that. I remember them being a lot tougher. If I got his armor from a drop here, that'd be great. Yeah, I figured that was unlikely. I don't think he respawns. I can't remember. I've never come back here, so I wouldn't know. Like, I've never come back here in subsequent, like, runs, because I don't tend to die at this area. It's not a particularly difficult area, and if I do die here, it'll be very embarrassing, but... I've said in the past, like, it's just a generally easy zone, so... You can actually skip this entire zone, because there's an area in the Forest of Fallen Giants, or specifically the Cardinal Tower, that allows you to skip this area. basilisk over there because scholar I don't have a fragrant branch of yore so that shit's gonna have to wait what was there no I think in the original game there was a guy here also mind you we should be below sea level right now 
Because I was in a tower that was at sea level, and then I went down, so I should be below sea level. Just keep that in your head. Oh, and I'm gonna need a torch. This next area can be kind of... if you don't have one. See? This is dark, so that's cool. Oh, right, shit. Pay attention, idiot. There we go. Thank you. Okay, through the shield. All right. First death in combat think. Wait, second? I don't remember. I think first. Because I jumped off that cliff earlier. But I only remember using one effigy. So I'm gonna assume the first. Oh well. Fine. Time for the cling ring. Because pff, fuck off if you think I'm gonna use an effigy every time I die. That's the easiest way to run out of effigy. Fucking arrows. Happen. How'd that other guy see me from like a million miles away then? Also, wooden chests. Kind of a mechanic I hate. If someone uh, like uh, even touches those things while you're neck, like, they will explode and you'll lose anything that's inside. That wouldn't necessarily bother me. Also, those guys can see you from a million miles away despite it being dark. You know, in the other games when it was dark, enemies couldn't see you. Anyway, um... It's just a thing I don't like. Because you can lose some pretty important items later in the game. There. What took you so long? What took you so long? Is that all of them? Oh, I mean... I guess... There's a, uh... Summon sign I could, uh, fucking... Do over here. I don't really want to, though. Because it's that's a good idea to save him for the boss. I should light all of these while I'm here, though. Not just because this place looks really cool while it's lit, but it's just generally a good idea. Eh, might as well. I've got the torch out. 
Also, I'm surprised I haven't found more torches yet. Yeah, Silver Cat Ring. That fall might have killed me if I was playing with the normal fall damage. Which is stupid, but also, you know, true. But still dumb. Actually, fuck it. Well... No, because I'm going to be coming back here. I might as well. I picked up five. What the fuck? Yeah, Bradley. My man. If I were to roll right now, I'd lose my fucking torch. Bradley, what the fuck are you doing? He's the most overpowered motherfucker on the planet. Yeah, shit. Bradley, help me. Please be more torch. Shit. That's helpful, but not in the way I was... Oh, I forgot he does this. Yeah, Bradley will just heal you. Which I always thought was weird. Mm. Shit. Oh shit, yeah, this is the one. Fuck! Lucatiel, help me! Fuck it, I'll do it. Uh, I don't have time to talk to you right now, Lucatiel. Because Bradley is on a timer. You know what would be awesome right now? Stone butterflies. Or not stone butterflies, flame butterflies. Flame butterflies would be dope. As it is, I need a fucking torch. Shit. Because there's a part ahead I need a torch for. Or I would like a torch for. Please, no one throw a fucking cask at me. That would piss me off. Yeah, fuck off! If I run out of torch right now, I'm gonna be careful not to freak out. Playing on the edge. Okay, Bradley, get ready to kick some ass. Because I'm out of torch in five, four, three, two, one. Extinguished. This is a problem. Bradley, help me. Oh, you're a dick. Uh... <coughs> I need a fire weapon. You know, in the original game, there was a thing here. You are so weird. This is such a cool enemy that never came back. I don't know what it is. It has something to do with the dark. It has a cool mechanic, though. 
um, that they don't come out when there's light, which I actually really appreciate. It makes me wish the torch mechanic worked from the beginning. These do actually look a lot like the things from Ulaseal. They're a bit more developed, though. They don't have that kind of Wonderland vibe about them. What the fuck was that? Weird. Oh. Ow! Stop it! Uh, I guess I can go talk to Lucatiel now. What? Oh, stop it. Hey, Lucatil. What is it? I don't know you, and you don't know me. Things are better that way. Do you say so? <sighs> you are an odd one. Normally, people keep a safe distance yeah. when they see this mask. Yeah, why do you wear that Ooh. mask? It's really weird. I'm called Luca to you. I think you can get both versions of it in this game, because you can get the version that's just a hat, and you get the version that's a mask. The they say Drang Lake brings hey, your brother's a dick. souls. And so I came to claim my share. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. While you've made a point of engaging me. I can see that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. Cool, that's actually really I come from awesome. Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Your sword is badass. She's got the fucking uh, Mira Greatsword or whatever. Happens, you can get it in Dark Souls 3 and it does damage depending on- it does more damage the more hollow you are, I think. You are an odd Yeah, okay, I've already, you you, I'm looping journey. your dialogue. Let's continue. I could really use some more torches. I should have gone to the Forest of Fallen Giants first. Because then I would have a Pharos Lockstone and I could have just done the thing. Because down there, where that guy's firing arrows at me, is the Pharos contraption that causes that to light up, which illuminates this entire zone. Completely useless in the original game, but really cool here. Shit. I hate you so much. Why did he just fucking turn around? Hurrah for comfort. I guess. Hey, that's a good point. What the fuck is up with this room? It's just a room. Oh, I guess that's so you can sneak around him. This place is pretty, though. I keep telling you, Dark Souls 2 is the probably the prettiest game in the series. But I think it's also the least developed. Which is ironic, considering that... Ah, shit. I forgot about this. Thank you for that. Life gem? 
scimitar. Alright. Is that any better than my fucking current weapon? No. Oh, uh, this is... No, it's not. I don't have enough decks anyway. Hmm. Well... I thought that was something else. Uh, might as well use this. Fuck. Oh, I didn't open the shortcut. Shit. Wait, no, it's down there. Never mind. Gavlan wheel. Gavlan deal. Cutscene! It's like Fable 2. Except cooler? Yeah, cooler. Fable 2 is kind of dumb. I like it, but it's stupid. That's actually a pretty cool ship design. I don't think I've seen one where, like, the cages are on fire. Dark Souls has a weird relationship with ghosts. It's never really explained how they work. They just kind of do. Going in there would be a really stupid mistake that I'm going to try not to make. Do I have anything that can help me here? The answer is no. Alright, let's be dumb. Aw, oh, he didn't drop his helmet. That's the one piece I wanted. The helmet he drops is really cool. No, well, I'm back here. So... There's that, I guess. Um... Shit. This actually kind of puts me in a bit of a shitty position. Well... There's that. Before I move forward, I'm going to talk to you. Seriously. Hmm. I see light, but it remains dim. Fuck off. I am Carillion, and I've no interest in the magic impaired. Hmm. I am. Fine, I'll come back when I know magic, you cunt. <sighs> Can I do this area with just Lucatil? Probably. I don't want to, because that would be stupid, but I can. I didn't open the shortcut, though. Well, I opened a shortcut, I didn't open the shortcut. Because of those fuckers. You know what? Fuck it. I'll try with just Lucatiel. If I die horribly, then I'll come back and do it again, I guess. Um. Fucking Carhillion. He's a dick anyway. He abandoned the Pyromancer character. 
it's weird. Nearly every NPC in this game knows each other by at least some, like, indirect method. Yet none of them talk to each other. <clears throat> it's not like in Dark Souls 1 where you can see them and they're, like... It's obviously a limitation of the game, but they do interact with each other in all degrees. But in this game, they all just kind of stand in the same general area, but never, like... They only make brief mentions of each other. It's like he's standing right there. And there's a character who is another character's daughter, yet she never, like, interacts with her father who's standing, like, 12 feet away. She just goes, I think that's my father over there. And the father character goes, yeah, that's my daughter. She's an idiot, but that's my daughter over there. But they never, like, there's no dialogue. It's just like, hey, there's a relationship here. Look at Teal, what are you doing? Oh, you. Great. I forgot you existed. Mm. Get him, Lucatiel! Your sick sword! Well, I took way more damage there than I wanted to. Awesome. Um... I always kind of wish there was more, like, varied environments. Hey, why can't I pick up these swords? I always kind of wish there was more, like, environmental stuff like this. Like, this is a cool fight. It's also kind of stupid, but it's a cool fight. I give you Flexile Sentry. I guess the coolest part of the fight is the boss arena. Because we're in a ship right now, and you'll notice there's water. Uh, as the fight progresses, if you don't kill him in a fast enough amount of time, the room will fill up with water. Fuck off! I don't have a weapon I can use to replace this. I forgot, it doesn't repair it with fucking bonfires in this. But anyway, as the fight progresses, your ability to move becomes lessened and lessened. And if you take too long, I think your character just drowns. Fuck off! Get him, Lucatiel! I literally have no ability to continue fighting. Please do not die, Lucatiel. I can't chip this boss for 7 damage. Thank you, Lucatiel. Thank you so much. Wait, I'm gonna drown. Shit. Let me out! I don't remember if this room continues to fill with water. That would be kinda cool, actually. I don't think it does. I think it stops it wherever it was when the boss gets killed. Well, my sword's broken as shit. Cool, I guess. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Might as well equip that.
Where do you get the dark pyromancy flame from? Remember, I was at sea level when I was above this place. That means I should be underwater. Oh yeah, you can't get back this way. Well, I guess I'm at the Lost Bastille now. And the ship's no longer on fire. So, there's that. And the water is a bit more static. Help. Oh, and it's nighttime now. Because remember, in Dark Souls, nighttime is a place. If you break these chairs, they'll just float in midair. I don't understand. I think there's a secret jump under this. Or no, you have to be at the top, and then jump on top of the fucking, uh, elevator. It's kinda hard to do, actually. Man, the faces in Dark Souls 2 look so much better than the faces in the other games. The faces in the other games kinda suck. I mean, they're okay in Dark Souls 1, but in the other games, they're just... They're, ugh. Uh, you can make decent ones in each game. But the ones in Dark Souls 2, I feel like, are just better, like, off the bat. I'm not sure why. They just have generally better proportions, I think. You don't have to try as hard. Back to Majula. Majula. Magula. Mabula. Waiting on messages. Oh, uh, chipped a nail. Damn. Why do I even bother painting you? Hey, channel on. Give me them sweet curses. levels. No, shut up. Bearer, seek, seek, last. Put on a fucking t-shirt. Huh. Um... I don't know if that's explicitly helpful right now, because I'm not entirely sure where I want my build to be. I haven't decided yet. Oh! Right. I didn't do the thing. Shit. Hey! Moglin! I need a new sword! Pronto! I may have fucked myself. Oh, hello again. Shut up, Moglin. Fuck! Well, I... <sighs> the question now becomes Can I level up enough to use a different weapon? Fuck me. Bearer of the well, curse. worst Seek comes to worst, Seek I do know where Seek another weapon is. is. So I could always just do that. Shit. Fuck. Damn it. No. Cool helmet.
Well, I'm screwed. Time to do this shit. This is some goofy shit. Eh, fuck it. If I were playing on New Game Plus, this would be a mimic. Oh, cool, because I'm going to be using that, huh? I forget how to do that. Fighting those trolls sucks. They have a teleport command grab. Please drop your axe. This is goofy. At least they gave it a good fucking uh, animation. This is actually... If I upgraded this, this could be a fairly decent weapon. That's weird to think about. Yeah, you stay on your prearranged fucking path. Fuck. With your weirdly well-animated tail. <sighs> no matter how many times I come through here, I can never remember where any of these guys are. Some of them are like in the water, so it's impossible to see them until they've aggroed. Ah! Eat my strange stunlock weapon that does very little damage over a long period, or does a lot of damage over a short period of time, despite having low. I don't know! This is an actual weapon! That's weird to think about. The only thing I remember using these for in the other games was to make fucking. Uh, Artorius is great sword because you had to do that by uh, upgrading one of these to plus ten in Dark Souls One. As a bit of a symbolic gesture, so it's weird to think about one of these being a legitimately good weapon. I mean, you can do the broken straight sword thing. It's a type of run in Dark Souls One where you just use nothing but the fucking straight sword hilt. But it's weird to think about it being a good weapon unupgraded. Just out of the box, eh? Because even these guys are basic weapons. What is my life? Pretty sky. Though the rest of this place looks kinda ugly. This place doesn't look too pretty. I mean, the textures in here are alright. I don't know. Some areas of this game look less pretty, or they look okay. It's very strange. 
Like, I don't like this repeated moss texture on all the, the fucking stone. That looks lazy and bad. I know there's a sword in here. And if I were playing the regular game, there'd be a fucking lightning sword in here on the Hade Knight that I don't think is in this area. Nope, not anymore. Which sucks, because that was like the best part of this entire fucking room. Was there was those zombie guys, whom you can kill, but more oh right, you cunts. More importantly, was if you killed them, you could then fight the Hay Knight. It's totally optional. Fuck off! Ugh! What the fuck do I do now? Shit. No. I might as well just punch them. There's some throwing knives over there, but no. Why would I bother making that absurdly difficult jump for some throwing knives? I wouldn't. That would be stupid of me. I'd have to be a fool to do that. So the fucking sun. I don't know. This game's weird. I don't have much introspective comments right now. Hey! Now we're back in business. This is fine! <sighs> Alright then. Oh shit. That would have been stupid. Okay. Let's get to work on punching everyone to death. This is goofy as shit. fucking dumb. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Alright, safe. For now. This is getting stupid. This is getting real, real dumb. It's never been more dire. This is as dire as I think it's ever been. No one will remember the epic struggles of me versus some guy. What the fuck? Really? You suck and I hate you. dumb and weird, but... Hey! You! <sighs> really? Please drop a sword or something. Oh, yay, woo. Joyous. Frabkiss Day. go again? I don't fucking remember. Oh, right, that's where I came from. I'm an idiot. Well, that certainly happened, I think. This is what happens when you're not prepared. Don't give up, skeleton. Hey, uh, you can't see me, right? Right! Thank you for not looking on. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Th 
Thank you, that'll go great with the crossbow I don't have. Oh. Oh no. Is this what it's like? Is this how everyone else feels when they play Dark Souls? I don't remember it being quite so harrowing. can just go to hell. Don't think I forgot about you, asshole. That is such a dick move, because this is the only Souls game where you're not invincible while you're fucking opening shit. That guy could have killed me. Whatever. I'm back. That's all that matters. I forget. Does that fix my stuff? It does. But that barely matters. Oh. Shut up, Matilda. I don't care. You have an evil laugh. Why should I buy anything from you? Ugh. A weapon! You sell a weapon I can use. Thank you, I'll take all of them. Oh, man. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, jeez. That is astonishingly... Holy crap. Wow. That went as poorly as it could have gone, in any way. There's no way that could have gone worse. Alright. Oh shit, I forgot about you. That could have been bad. Cool, I have weapons for when mine inevitably fucking break. Because the fucking durability in this game sucks ass. Oh, repair powder. That would have been great, like, a while ago. Cool, more shit I don't need. It's dark in here. I don't have any torches. You know, you couldn't break that in the original game, but there were guys on the other side of it. You wear your enemy. Is this a trap? I don't remember this being a trap. Oh, right. Oh my god, that's so much easier. Thank you. <sighs> oh, shit. It's not just lying on the floor like it was in the other game. I think in the, the original game, it was here. I don't remember. 
I'm gonna take a break. It's been 